Well, okay. I really like storytelling. So in any way that I can do that, like, I'll do it. So I draw a lot because that's kind of like storytelling. You're telling stories through drawings. But like fourth and fifth grade, I got obsessed with like the Goosebump series. Still obsessed with them. And I love just, I'm in love with R.L. Stein. Like I want to be R.L. Stein. So that's just that. I get my best ideas when I'm in the shower. I'm just like scrub dub dubbing everywhere. And I'm just there. And I'm just thinking. And I'm like singing along to it, like some music. And I'm just like, oh my god, this would be really cool to draw. I don't know if I ever told you this, but I almost bought one of my teachers. I wrote a story and like I left it on a cliffhanger. I remember that it was a cliffhanger and I did that purposely because that's what Arl Stein does. Okay. And I was like, I'm leaving it in a cliffhanger because I'm going to continue this story and make a whole nother book for it. So it was going to be a two part thing. Okay. So my regular teacher, I think her name was Miss Stewart. I think that's Miss Stewart. Anyways. And she comes up to me and she's like, this is wrong. And I'm like, what do you mean this is wrong? You're not supposed to like leave it in a cliffhanger. I'm like, like I literally looked at her like she was crazy. I was like, what do you mean? My favorite author does it all the time. Why can't I do it? Arl Stein would never, ever say that to me. Read all my stories now because like they're all, they all end in cliffhangers. She'd probably hate me. She'd be like, oh, you're still doing this? Yes.